The sun barely pierces the ocean's surface, but down here in the dim blue world, the hunt has already begun. I'm not the hunter, I'm the hunted. Every shadow, every flicker of movement could be the last thing I ever see. My name? Well, you can call me a decorator crab. And this isn't just my home, it's my battlefield. My day starts with a single crucial mission, fashion. But this isn't about looking pretty, it's about survival. My soft, vulnerable shell is a dinner invitation to every predator out here. Pufferfish, octopuses, you name it. So I have to be smarter. I have to be invisible. See this? This is a piece of sea sponge. But to me, it's a ghillie suit. I use my tiny, precise claws to snip off a piece. Then using a special saliva that acts like super glue, I attach it to my back. My body is covered in tiny hooked bristles like natural Velcro, holding my camouflage in place. One piece isn't enough, I need more. Over there, a patch of stinging anemones. Dangerous? Absolutely. A single touch can paralyze most creatures. But for me, they're the perfect accessory. I carefully, oh so carefully, snip one from its base. It writhes, its tentacles firing off warning shots. But I'm resistant to their sting. I place it on my shell, a living, stinging shield. Now any fish that gets too close for a bite will get a nasty, painful surprise. It's like wearing a suit of armor made of landmines. Wait still, don't move. My periscopic eyes catch a change in the water pressure. A large, dark shape glides above a grouper. Its eyes, cold and empty, are scanning the seabed. My heart, a tiny pump, hammers against my shell. Is my disguise good enough? Am I just another lump on the ocean floor, or does it see me? It hovers. Seconds feel like hours. I'm a living statue, a work of art that can't afford to be noticed. The shadow passes. I can breathe again. That was too close. My camouflage is good, but it's not perfect. And it's never permanent. As I grow, I have to molt, shedding my old shell and all my precious decorations with it. When that happens, I'm naked, soft, and utterly defenseless. It's the most terrifying time of my life. Before I molt, I'll strategically place my old decorated shell nearby. As soon as I'm free, my first frantic act is to race over and reapply my old camouflage to my new soft body before anything finds me. It's a desperate high-stakes costume change. As the light fades again, my day's work is done. I'm a walking mosaic of the reef, a living testament to trickery and nerve. Every piece of algae, every shard of shell, every stinging hydroid on my back tells a story of a danger avoided, a predator outsmarted. Out here, you can't be the strongest and you can't be the fastest. You have to be the cleverest. You have to be a masterpiece of deception. Because in this deep, beautiful, deadly world, life is an art form, and I am its most dedicated artist.